Hi, this is Michael Lewis. I'm the CEO at uh, Mycroft AI. And uh, in our first installment of Who Are You and What Are You Doing Here? I'd like to introduce Mike Hansen. Uh, he's the newest member of our, of our development team. And um, uh, I just want to uh, talk to him a little bit about uh, why he's here and uh, you know what his interest in, in uh, Mycroft is. So um, he's, he's the uh, creator uh, of the Raspi project. And so um, I'd like to ask you, Mike, uh, you know, what was your motivation for, for getting into that? Sure. Um, so I actually got, I got some hardware uh, while I was working at the Air Force Research Lab, got some Raspberry Pis, and the condition for me getting these was that I needed to teach uh, Raspberry Pi camp for kids. And uh, I, I actually enjoy teaching, so I thought, no, no big deal. Uh, so I did that, and we were, I put Home Assistant on this Pis, and then wanted to do a little voice assistant as well, kind of an offline uh, thing. And I found a project called Jasper, but it didn't work so well. Um, and so I thought, well, maybe I could improve this a little bit. Um, so I, I got something that worked pretty well for me, but unfortunately it, it turns out if you have 20, 20 10th graders in a single room all trying to talk to uh, their voice assistants doesn't, doesn't work out so well. But I, I enjoyed the experience and I, Kind of kept kept at it. I, I put the code up um, as a open source add-on, and then just kind of worked on it in the background. Um, and then, kind of when uh, uh, COVID um, shut down the Air Force Base and I moved remote, I was able to work, you know, much more on Raspi uh, with the approval of of my boss, and just found that I loved it. And so over time, I decided, you know what, I want to make this my full-time job. And uh, that's kind of where I am today. Cool. Uh, what um, now? My understanding is that Raspi is uh, the, the goal is to make that entirely offline, right? So there's no server connections for that. Uh, why? Why is that? Well, the idea was um, basically so that if if somebody wanted to cut out, you know, any kind of third party uh, listening to their voice or anything, then they could do that. So there's a privacy aspect. Uh, but for me, there was also like a um, kind of a robustness aspect to it. I, I had read about people who, you know, sometimes people who uh, don't have full mobility or something who might use voice assistants around their home to help them. And I remember reading a, a blog post by a gentleman who said, you know, when the Internet goes out, I, I have a huge problem. Um, mm -hmm. And so I thought, you know, the technology I felt like was far enough along that we could do this fully offline. Um, now this this can't do everything, you know. It's uh, it's still limited in, in its in its um, commands that it can take, but it's still like it's way better than it was back in back in the days of even the Raspberry Pi one. Um, so so there's a privacy aspect, and then also the robustness for for big things. Yeah, that's uh, that's great. Um, what uh, so you recently joined Mycroft just a couple of weeks ago? Um, mm -hmm. What uh, you know what was what was it about? What, what we're doing here at Mycroft that uh, that really interests you? Well, it, it kind of it, it would be like the the dream for me as as the creative Raspi to to become something like a Mycroft, right? You know, to to be able to reach a large community of people, um, like with with open source software, uh, to be able to provide you know a private service to people and to to work on you know the the hardware. So I'm excited to work on the Mark II. Um, something we struggled with in the Raspi community was, you know, everyone has such diverse hardware, they're trying to, to get this level of performance on. But if, if you don't have, you know, the nice microphone that's tied to the speakers and such, it, it makes it for a degraded experience, I think. And so I'm excited to to join a company that actually embraces kind of the values that I had in starting Raspi, the privacy aspect uh, and such, and can kind of come into a large community. It's great. What do you think you can bring from the Raspi project into Mycroft? Well, I'm hoping to bring a number of things. I've I've worked on uh, getting things to run offline. Is is the big one? So, Raspi speech to text can run offline. You you pre-program it with a with a grammar right now. Um, it can still have millions of voice commands, but it's 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 restrictive. So I'd like to bring some of that and expand it out. And then I've also worked on text to speech. Um, so I've I've trained at this point, dozens of voices in different languages. Um, and those those are able to run offline as well on the Raspberry Pi hardware. 
Uh, so the offline aspect is a big one. And then I'm also interested down the road, you know, my, my background is in cognitive science as well as computer science. Um, I'm interested in how we can kind of take voice assistants a bit further than, you know, right now a lot of them are basically chatbots with, you know, voice components stuck on either end. Uh, but I think we can develop things that has a, a real dialogue with the user and can do more. And so I'm, I'm interested in that aspect. Awesome. Well, I, uh, for one, am very excited to have you on the team. And uh, thank you for uh, jumping into uh, you know, the, the startup experience, which uh, mm -hmm. is always very exciting. Um, but um, uh, yeah, this, this all, all sounds great. I mean, it's, you know, for us, it's a, it's a perfect alignment. Uh, and um, you know, really glad to have you on the team. So thanks. Yeah, and thanks thank for you. the chance to get to know you a little better, too. Sure. Excited to see where we go. All right. Thanks.